hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is lena crate if you are new here kindly consider subscribing to my channel do you see it anytime i upload a new video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support i really don't take it for granted uh today i'm back with another episode of a new uh, discussion and uh i just wanted us to learn kidogo about uh, some of the things that zeal break marriage you know na. me personally i'm in marriage and almost seven years in marriage and some there are some of the things that okay he may to build and some of the things that imefanya sometimes we are low and tukikachini okay ukikachini uangalie una find they are very ni vitu tu vidogo vidogo zenye zeal break marriage and kama mja i'm just like i'm just solve or i'm just talk about it you find yourself quarreling a lot disagreeing a lot separating and that's why tunapatanga vitu kama divorces so i'm just okay i'm not a sicko perfect in all this i'm just talking because i'm in marriage and some of the challenges and i'm just want to share with you some of the challenges that zio fanya couples wana wana kosana or sometimes couples when i disagree because unajua kuna there is no marriage that is smooth by the way if you are out there and una feel you need to get married or you need to find yourself a wife or a husband there are some of the things that you really need to work on and maybe if you are in marriage and maybe there hakuna mtu aliye waambia such things just not zero exist unaona So that, those are the things that I'm going to discuss with you today. So just relax and always comment in my videos. Let me know your views or anything that you think I've left behind. You can always share with me at the comment section. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to like tell you like top 10 things that always break marriages and that's why you find most of ladies Yeah, single moms or single dads or you find like a 10 year marriage in a quad divorce just like that so okay my first point is lack of intimacy you find most of the people wanakosanianga sex let me call it that because uh in marriage definitely god ali creates uh, like sex as a sacred thing in marriage so if you are married you need to have your conjugal rights so unapata most of the time uh, when one partner is not satisfied you find the other partner aki cheat or some just cases because he's not okay so and to my second point if I nikiunganisha na that you need to communicate if you are there and uh, you have your partner there and you feel your partner is not satisfying you sexually you need to talk to your partner mwambie let, let him or her know about how you feel yeah communication is very important in marriage communication solves a lot of things <clears throat> in marriage so if you are in marriage and you've not uh, you and you don't have that habit of communicating with your partner just know your time in marriage let me just put it that is numbered because you have uh, you can hurt your partner in so many ways and if you can uh, if your partner is that one person who is no it's poor in communication at a, at a, at a, at a lose interest in your marriage unaona ama mfanyie kitu like maybe uh, you just you just do him or her something and si ule mtu akuongea unajua tena it's always you can unaweza unaweza batika upate that partner mwenye is so quiet or she is so quiet mwenye afadhali ajieke vitu first of all if you that partner who and i prefer to akaya ajieke vitu then you are you are harming yourself because the moment umejieke vitu kwa roho you find yourself being depressed you find yourself stressed you find yourself thinking like negatively So me I'll, I'll say my first point is lack of sexual intimacy and this 
if you don't communicate well with your partner, things go haywire. So I don't know about you guys, you can always like comment up chinimunyandie. Do lack of sex break marriage? Is it like uh, is it one of the things that in a marriage in a break, people divorce? You let me know. Then my aunt my second like uh, point is fight about money. You all know that money is na kila kitu ni pensa in this world we are living in. And ile design ya if your wife is working or your husband is working, kuna hiyo phrase watu wanasema like pesa ya mwanamke ni pesa yake, then pesa ya mwanaume ni pesa yetu. Okay, if you have this mentality, then it will be hard for you to ho to like nini inaitwaje mkae kwa marriage. Me by the way, I don't know about you, but me I'm talking about me and my marriage because these are some of the things that made me Nijue, like some of the things that can break your marriage. First is lack of sex, then now money. This comes when maybe one person anafanya kazi. Unapata, maybe hiyo pesa anapata cannot like, uh, niseme aje, like maybe anapata pesa kidogo ama pesa mingi. For example, I'm working and my husband is working. Uh, Inamanisha, we are supposed to cut responsibilities katikati or how is it supposed to be? Ebu mkomenta pochini because we need to learn. If you are in marriage, na wewe ni mwanamke na una an, does it mean you have to like kuchangia kwa some responsibilities kwa nyumba or you are that person mwenye pesa yake ni yake ya bwana yako ni yetu please comment cuz these are the some of the things that zeal break marriage cuz sometimes mwanaume analemewa i don't know but you never know cuz you know this men are ongiangi sana but unapata maybe sometimes uh, some of responsibilities na zinamlemea na wewe maybe you earn a lot uh, you know in some marriages unapata maybe kuna mwanamke ana han more than the husband. Does it mean that when you get this money, your money is yours? Or you help your husband like Munakata responsibilities like for example, my husband can pay some things and I do some things in the house. What do you think, guys? Because me, I think pesa sa zingine, pesa ni mbaya at the same time, pesa ni mzuri. Because sometimes, if there is no money in that house, Ladies agree with me. Kama kuna pesa, roho ya mwanamke ni pesa. So kama kuna pesa kwa hiyo nyumba, you find there is no peace. I talk uh, kwa experience because sometimes you call like you are a man. You need to toil for me. You are a man, I'm your responsibility. So anytime hakuna pesa, you find yourself quarreling, you find yourself fighting. That's one example. Another example, nionye nimewambia, maybe a wife is earning more than the man. And now the man feels like, my salary ni kidogo, it can't cut off for this and this and this. So guys, how do you like split your responsibilities? That, does it mean that you as a woman, your money is yours? Or you help your husband? Because isn't it vitu zenye ufanyika kwa marriage? Muna fightia do, muna fightia responsibilities, muna sema, ah, misi ezi tuwa pesa angu na fanya kitu, one, two, three. So let me know, what's your view about this money thing in marriage? Okay, uh, another thing is uh, selfishness. Let me explain about selfishness. Because uh, you find in marriage, you find in marriage, one partner might be, Selfish. If I mean selfish, it means anajifikiria ya mwenyewe. Sijui cause unapata how to explain this, but selfishness is one of the things that inafanyanga watu wana, some of the challenges inafanyanga watu wana separate kwa marriage. Because unapata mtu like ya anajifikiria peke yake, afikiria kona bibi hapo, afikiria kona buwana hapo, like anile akilia. Uh, well, if I do something, how will it affect my partner? You, we unafanya too in the name of kuji, 
kujifurahisha ama kujitosheleza maybe you are before uingia kwa marriage you are this kind of person mwenye alikuwa like partying like wewe ungekosa kwa party ama there, there's this like this one behavior that ulikuwa nayo ama bado uko nayo and now you are in marriage now e, unajua itakulimit ile designer utakuwa like should i choose uh, this one or should i na wewe unajipata una choose uh, that way because unataka kujifurahisha not thinking about your partner yeah so mean on that is selfishness and if you are in marriage you need to think about your partner you need to feel you think about what your partner might, might think about something now in that apo pia communication inakuja let your partner know what you feel let your partner know how if i do this thing how will it affect our marriage don't be selfish ile designer acha nifanye after all hakuna mali atanipeleka unaona wewe unataka wewe ujitosheleze mwenyewe unataka vitu zikufavor that is being selfish that is being selfish so that is my third point of some of the challenges that uh, married people face in their marriage na kama kuna ingine, please just comment up or let me know the zile zenye sitakuwa nime discuss pia you will let me know now another point is ignoring boundaries The moment you may ignore boundary ya your partner, hapo mnakosana kabisa. Ah, uh, let me just tell you something. Unaona mkiingia kwa marriage, let me just advise our young girls, our young men who are just uh, when you wanataka kuingia kwa marriage. Me I always tell my husband, give me your boundaries. Like tell me your boundaries. Place yenye nikivuka utaona hapana hapa na umenivu hapa na umenivuka. So what I'll tell my young girls, young ladies, young gentlemen that before like mkai like sasa me agree mnataka ku get married. Mimi nita advise sit down with your partner agree to the boundaries that ungependa your partner apite like what are some of the rules your own rules that you feel unafaa uambie this partner just in case uh like a betray the rule cuz you know in marriage you much and sometimes you do things not because at you may assume sometimes you just find yourself like umefanya kitu nimekasirisha your partner au kwa unajua like uh, like iki tu nikifanya itamkasirisha and that's when i kwambia before like before mu agreement nataka kuoana let your partner know your boundaries because these are some of the things that manze zina affecting in marriage because ile tembenye okay ata utapi uh, like uta utambosk ya kwanza ufanye hiyo the same things kwa pili siku ya tatu ufanye atakasirika na the moment atakasirika atakuwa like this woman or this man mimi siwezi kana yeye kwa sababu aheshimu my boundaries unaona so you need to know your partner's boundaries ndio msikosane in any way if your partner amekwambia mimi i don't like you doing this this and this respect that the same to the other way around if your partner amekwambia If the like, woman I'm kwambia me my husband I don't like you doing this this or don't cross this line or don't cross this evil I don't know your rules kila mtu ako na rules zake kila mtu ako na boundaries zake discuss your boundaries let your partner respect the boundaries ile nyawezi respect na unamkalisha chini unamwambia mimi ni hivi na hivi na hivi communicate okay communication is wide communication is big So all these things zina relate na communication. The moment to make communicate na your partner, vitu zitakuwa zitakuwa sawa, zitakuwa fresh barida, zitakuwa hizo vitu zote marriage itakuwa mzuri. So number one, I've said like uh, uh, some of the challenges that zina affect marriage number one is lack of sexual like uh, intimacy. Number two, nimesema money pesa huwa ina 
tenganisha watu. Number three nimesema don't be selfish. Usijipende. Remember mko hapo kwa hiyo marriage wa wili mko hapo plus maybe kama mmebarikiwa na watoto mko na watoto pia. So uh, think about yourself also as you think about your family, as you think about your husband, as you think about your wife. Uh, my fourth point is no don't ignore your partner's boundaries. Usi like usi cross usi cross boundaries ya partner wako. Ukishajua hivyo vitu zitaenda vizuri. Now my other point is um infidelity. Hi world yenye tunaishi sasa hii. Watu wanazaliwa warembo. You will agree with me. So don't just be don't just practice infidelity. First of all, you need to ask yourself, why am I even being infidel to my partner? Ninini lazima tui kupush ukwevo. Why do you cheat? Even me wambia, communicate. Uh, it's the same as uh, my first point. In fact, it's just my first point. Talk to your wife. Kama your wife is not, or your husband is not like doing this thing the way you really want it, want it to be. Sit your, sit your partner down, mwambie. After all, he's your partner. Isaac akufanya kitu. You've been maybe in your marriage for two years, three years, four years, or even 20 years. Mna ugopana nini? Ninini mna kosa kuambiana, yet you sleep in the same bed? So you need to talk to your partner about these things. Because isn't ni vitu zenye, ata mlenge, isi ndo vitu zenye zina break our marriages. So, Communicate with your partner. Okay, guys. Another thing that uh, another challenge that in a in a break marriages ni jealousy. Na kwambia kama umeoa amu molewa na mtu ako jealous. I'm telling you, iyo marriage akuna malina ina. I'm talking about experience, by the way. All these things na wambia. See, it's because of anything else. It's because of experience. Kuna zenye I've already experienced. Kuna zenye maybe a friend of mine has experienced. So these uh, challenges, by the way, need real. Kama bado you are watching na bado jengia kwa marriage. Just know there are some of the challenges lazima utakumbana na yo kwa marriage. Na pia lazima ujue venye you will deal with all these, mari uh, all these challenges to make your marriage perfect, to make your marriage uh, better, to make your marriage enjoyable. To make your marriage fun. So, if you are this, uh, like, this jealous partner, kindly watch an eye. Okay, I have this story of a friend. Uh, there was this friend of mine that, uh, tuliko nopenda, like, kutembea na yeye. So, there's this point, uh, she was a lady, by the way. So, uh, tumetembea kidogo. Then, uh, a male friend, so they bumped into each other. Then, coincidentally the husband was passing the husband akapita na later my friend venyalienda kwa nyumba now she was telling me like ah uh, unajua fulani wa fulani alituona nikiongea na fulani wa fulani so alikuwa anauliza like he was so inquisitive of who the person was nini nini and uh, she was telling me that the husband got mad kabisa kabisa that is jealousy. The reason I'm telling you that's jealousy, ni, mbono kama uliwaona, mbono usiende, umona watu wamesimama. Why don't you just go there, get to know this person, get to introduce yourself, because definitely he was a friend. Wa ungekuja hapo, okay, I'm talking about the story, the man, the husband angekuja hapo, definitely the woman uh, then my friend and him introduced like meet my husband and the husband and uh, the uh, the wife and introduced the friend like meet your friend siju kama mna understand point yangu that is jealousy because uh, he was like you shouldn't stand with any other man i'm your husband like you shouldn't stand with any other man kwanja no like if you are that jealous partner kindly stop because in a in a break marriage, 
jealousy he will break marriage if you trust your partner enough like you believe in your partner then you shouldn't be jealous if you feel like kuna mali mli kosania mamli pitania kidogo you should talk about everything so don't bring jealousy to marriage because the moment you do that marriage in arubika na in arubika hivyo na in arubika kabisa yeah so that is it about um jealousy then another thing is boredomness kama wewe ni that person when you don't care about sir, your partner's feelings where you don't have time for your partner you don't take your partner out like you don't do the things you used to do while dating wewe unaweka tu your partner kwa hapo ako bored like he or she doesn't have someone to talk to ni wewe anaona hapo kwa nyumba you should stop because the moment the person will deal with that boredomness he or she attend huko nje na tatafuta friends and that's where at a move on so unapata yeye ako kwa marriage but ako kwa that bo- boring marriage na huko nje ako kwa maybe another happy happy relationship unapata ako kwa marriage but ako in another marriage why because ana feel akiwa na wewe ako so bored like no this person is so boring ana time yangu ya nataka kuje home amechoka all he or she wants to do is just to sleep maybe just be on his or her phone like aniasium like anioni like a maya ghost mimi ni frame kwa ukuta you shouldn't make your partner feel bored in a marriage like hiyo ndo time tunasema my wife my husband hebu tucheze a game maybe uko maybe mko na ps like for this men squeezy wamependa kuweka ps kwa manyumba zao because of the children when the children are asleep why don't you just take those pads in itwangwa pads play with your partner let your partner feel your presence guys i don't know kama mnani feel stop making your partners bored in the marriage you are in because the moment atatoka hinje afaa apate happiness huko nje even though ataendanga i'm just telling you the truth even that atatembeza ende kama atakuwa narudi kwa nyumba akisema ah after all tumeoana sasa nitafanya nini atakuwa kwa nyumba in the name of after all tumeoana and if you are that woman it's a story for another day If you are that woman when you could kwa marriage just because muewana please don't if you feel the re- the marriage is, is toxic the relationship is toxic please move hebu jitoe asubuhi na mapema tembesha kiatu anyway and to my point don't make your fal- partner feel bored cuz hiyo ndo point atatoka nje apate new friends apate a mingo luko nje na watu wengine i find happiness something that amekuwa kimis you're not giving her that happiness you're not giving her that joy that care where you are just that one partner who i could just always busy you don't have time you in a break marriage so guys If you have watched my video and you've liked my video and you haven't subscribed kindly consider subscribing before you leave my channel and I promise you for uh, many 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 content you'll be always discussing about new topics each and every day and if you feel there is uh, that one challenge that again who are in a um, break our marriages in a lead to divorces kindly comment up chini let me know and we can always discuss about all these points because i know one way or another we are learning and one way or another we are impacting someone so always comment always like always share my videos up inje and yeah that's all for today let's meet in my next video bye